Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. All those who are watching my channel for the first time, please do subscribe and this is a channel to help out all the aspirants, those who are preparing for GPSTR exams, PM students, physics and math students. Okay, in last video, we have learnt about arithmetic progression. In this video also, we shall learn few more numericals from arithmetic progression. Come, let's move into the topic. Which term of the AP is 12, 10, 8 is minus 48. So, in any sum, we have to list out what is given. Here given is A is equal to 12 first term and D is equal to common difference 10 minus 12 that is minus 2 T n nth term is minus 48 which term they have asked here so n we have to calculate and we know the formula to calculate n using arithmetic progression formula T n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d substitute all those known terms t n value is minus 48 a is 12 n is we have to find out so write as it is whereas d value is minus 2 substitute in the bracket and minus 48 as it is you take the next step again 12 this 2 n minus 1 and minus 2 this is in multiplication so we can multiply them plus into minus is minus n into 2 2n again minus into minus is plus 1 2 is a 2 next step so here we are going to rearrange by making some changes this minus 2n which is on the right hand side when you shift to the left hand side it becomes plus same way minus 48 from the left hand side when you shift to the right hand side it becomes plus 48 the remaining terms as it is it remains so shift minus 2 in this side 12 plus 2 plus 48 add them up give 62 2n is equal to 62 therefore n is equal to 62 divided by 2 2 ones are 2 ones are 62 therefore n is equal to 31 clear Okay, we shall move to the end of the sum. In Tn is equal to 2n plus 3, find S3 value. Simple sum, what are given? Tn value is given. Tn is equal to 2n plus 3. We need to find out S3 value. So, S3, it means sum of three terms first three terms t1 t2 t3 if it is s4 sum of the first four terms t1 t2 t3 plus t4 like that it goes so to calculate s3 we need each terms t1 t2 and t3 so tn value is given that is 2n plus 3 in n's place if you substitute one value you will get t1 in t2 instead of n value if you substitute 2 you will get t2 value same for t3 therefore t1 is equal to 2 of 1 plus 3 so 2 ones are 2 2 plus 3 is 5 for t2 substitute the value of n as 2 here 2 into 2 plus 3 2 2 is a 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 t3 is equal to 2 3 is a 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 hence we got the value of t1 t2 and t3 substitute it t1 is 5 t2 is 7 t3 is 9 add them up you'll get the answer is 21 so this is the required answer s3 okay let's learn one more sum find the sum of 3 plus 7 plus 11 up to 25 terms so what i'll given in the sum when you list out what are given in the sum, half of the sum will be over already like that. So A is the first term, A is equal to 3, difference, common difference D is equal to 7 minus 3, that is 4. N, number of terms are given as 25 terms, so N is equal to 25. Sum, 
it means you have to find the total sn value you have to find out we know when sn is asked giving the remaining terms we know the formula sn is equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d so substitute the values whereas n is equal to 25 divided by 2 2 of a is 3 n minus 1 that is 25 minus 1 d value is 4 so substitute here substitution is very very important you must be very careful while substituting then calculation so bring back this 25 by 2 as it is 2 3 is a 6 25 minus 1 is 24 into 4 next step is these two terms write as it is 24 into 4 96 next step 96 plus 6 is 102 into 25 by 2 now you can cancel 2 ones are 250 ones are 102 so now 25 into 51 multiply sn value is 1275 okay let's learn one more sum find n if sn is equal to 55 what are given sn value is given that's all sn is equal to 55 we have to calculate n value n is equal to question mark we know the formula only when sn and n is given that is sn is equal to n by 2 of n plus 1 don't get confused with n plus l for the last term okay this is a different formula sn is equal to n by 2 of n plus 1 substitute sn value sn is equal to 55 n by 2 n plus 1 as it is and This you cross multiply with fifty five into two fifty five two is a hundred and ten n into n plus one. Now this term for n value you have your n into n plus one. So you take two consecutive terms one next to the other so that when you multiply them the product will be hundred and ten. Okay, so the consecutive terms are plus ten and Plus eleven. If you take ten eleven, the hundred and ten. These are two consecutive terms. Ten eleven, twelve like that. Okay. So substitute those value. Hundred and ten is equal to ten into ten plus one. Eleven can be written as ten plus one. Okay. So compare with the above. You'll get the n value as ten. Okay. Clear. Easy. So prepare well. so all those who are interested in learning mathematics please subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notifications so you press the all button so that you will get all the notifications related to gpstr exams so stay tuned thank you